Okay, good. We got a bunch of people here. How many people are in the room? Let's see. We got a number of eight viewers. Eight viewers. Okay, good. And you guys are recording? Good. Okay. So again, this is, uh, hey guys, it's Josh Server, and I'm doing a live Ustream interview for the Josh Server fan administrative fan book or fan page on Facebook. And uh, these guys are like my most awesomest fans. And so we agreed to do a little, uh, little chat and uh, so they could ask some questions. So you guys can fire away. How's everybody doing out there in TV land? Hold on, now I gotta read and then answer. Hold on, just wanted to say that. Well, first of all, guys, it's a, it's a pleasure. Um, I think I've, uh, I've talked to Chelsea a little bit about how much I appreciate how much time and effort you guys put into the fan page. It must have taken a really, really long time and I, I know you guys work hard at it. So I'm really, really honored. I'm grateful to have you guys uh, and you guys are such dedicated fans. So um, it's my pleasure to be here. So you guys ask away and I love the page, so. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> and I, uh, I think I actually got a lot of your letters today, and I popped uh, some autographed pictures in the mail because I'm recognizing all the names and stuff like that. So um, you guys should get those soon. Now remember, you can keep those, and in about five or ten years, they're going to be worth at least ten bucks, at least. So that's a good investment. Make sure you keep that autographed picture. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good. You'll never sell it? Never? Never? Now, what should I be reading these questions or should I be reading your answers so that everyone knows? How do we do this? How does this Ustream thing work? Guys, what happened? No? Are you typing? <laughs> well, they'll be able to see the chat also. So whatever you feel comfortable with. I've never used this before. Okay, so we're all newbies on Ustream. This is cool. We'll figure it out together. Absolutely. Crazy kids with your technology. Okay, so you guys type the questions and I'll answer. So go ahead. Shoot. Uh, you know what? I don't have any props from the set. I do have a lot of like the old, uh, um, some all that memorabilia, like some of the shirts and jackets and stuff from, uh, from old rap parties and end of the seasons and stuff like that. And I kept a bunch of that and it's in a, in a, in a big box because I think eventually all that memorabilia will be, will be something I'd like to go back and, you know, cherish forever. So I did keep that, but I don't have any props uh, per se. That was a good question though. Good, good question. Is this just slow, or do, you, do we have to get you all ladies some typing lessons? You know, we got to keep these questions. Ooh, keep them. Ooh. I'm, just, I'm just teasing. What was your... Okay, so... XXC223 asks, what was my favorite cartoon you watched as a kid? Uh, oh, it froze on you? You're going to have to leave and come back? Okay, you go ahead and do that. Um, obviously, take your time. My favorite cartoon, I loved Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, so there was a bunch. Um, I think I was really into like superheroes when I was a kid. You know, I was always trying to be 
you know, someone else and, and go and, you know, fight evil and, and for justice and equality. So I liked, uh, I liked all the Superman stuff and Spider-Man. Um, but I think one of my favorites has got to be Thundercats. Thundercats was a really cool cartoon, and I think they've actually started redoing it, and they have a newer version of it on Cartoon Network. It's pretty badass. So check out Thundercats if you if you're not hip to that. Michael J. Felix, which laugh was more fun, Tandy or Emerly Maroon? Um, that is a that's a really good question. I think uh, I think Emily Maroon might have been more fun, but I think Tandy was more uh, scary and creepy. I think that's the the right answer to that question. But they were both fun characters to play. You loved Emily. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There's some Emily for you. Emily Maroon. Everybody loves the Maroon sketch. That was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, Ricky Norris writes, it was awesome hearing you do the Tandy the other day in that interview. Um, thank you. Yeah, uh, just gave him a little bit of Tandy. Um, Tandy's still one of my uh, very favorites, and I, apparently everyone really seems to like it. So. Who is your biggest inspiration? And uh, Rachel, sorry, Rachel Marie Keen writes, who's your biggest inspiration and why? Um, you know, I have, I, 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 I get inspiration from a lot of different places. Um, you know, I think back then I was being inspired by a lot of different comedians um, that I was watching at, at the time. But I, I really think like inspiration wise, um, I have a few people in my life that really inspire me. Uh, you know, obviously my family, my mother's a huge inspiration for, for me. She's always been my biggest, biggest fan and, uh, you know, keeps me moving in the entertainment stuff because that's really the, her most exciting thing for, for us to talk about. Um, and uh, I also have a, a really uh, good friend of mine uh, whose name's uh, Mason. Mason and I do a lot of projects together. He helped uh, he helped me write uh, LOL, which is the web series that we did. Uh, really, really smart guy, and he's one of my best friends in the world. And he keeps me really uh, inspired on a daily basis. And he's a big fan of mine, so I like to give him a lot of kudos. Um, and then I'll, I'll, of course, a lot of my you know a lot of my fellow castmates, you know, um, Keenan, you know, Kel. Those guys were big inspirations for me because I was always trying to keep up with them and and. Uh, and wanting to be as funny as, as those guys were every day, so. Okay, Michael Jeff, uh, J. Felix writes, even though they don't show them anymore, who is your favorite musical act that you met on all that? Man, we had some cool musical acts. Uh, I think, you know, again, to just name a few, uh, I loved, uh, Tribe Called Quest's music at the time. Uh, they were a, a big uh, hip-hop group that I got into uh, a lot, and I, I loved meeting them. Wyclef Jean was really, really cool to meet. Uh, he was really popular and still is, uh, and just an amazing musical talent. Um, uh, I loved meeting, you know, again, may she rest in peace, Aaliyah before she passed on. I, I, is, did I see on Twitter today that it is it's her birthday or a, a birthday of her passing? I don't know. I might be wrong about that, but it is her birthday today. We miss her so much. Okay, so um, she was amazing to meet uh, Usher. I mean, there were just some really, really uh, great, great, great musical acts. And it says that Aaliyah would have been 33 today. So happy birthday, Aaliyah, and we, we do miss her. So there was so many musical acts that, that I enjoyed meeting. That's just to name a few, I guess. Okay, so 
if a fan ever sought out somewhere, it would, would it be all right to come ask for a picture, say, hey, Um, <laughs> Ricky, Ricky writes, she want, keeps wanting to say Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Um, is that, that's just your screen name? What happened? What happened? No, it says, uh, if a fan ever sought out, uh, saw me out somewhere, would it be all right to come and ask for a picture or say, Hey, understand you might not always have the time to take pictures for, for everyone, but is there a certain way? Um, no, I, I've been, uh, I've been approached in a lot of different ways. I mean, I, ooh, what happened? There we go. Sorry, lost my computer for a second. Uh, screensaver. And then, um, so, so I've been approached a lot of different ways. I feel like as long as someone is uh, respectful and is, uh, you know, friendly and nice, you know, I, I will always try to take the time um, to do that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I always appreciate someone taking their time out of their day to. Uh, want my picture or want an autograph so if if I can and I'm not completely busy with something that I can't walk away from I'll always try to take the time and and uh, and hook them up um, but as far as a certain way to come at me I, I feel like as long as you just you know treat me with respect I'm gonna treat you with respect and you'll uh, most likely get your picture and your autograph that you want It says, I am so humble, that's why so many love you. Yeah, that's right, I am humble, damn it. No, I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. I think, um, I think, I think I had to relearn how to be humble and as my life goes on and on and I get, uh, I get older and hopefully wiser, I feel like I'm getting more humble every day because um, I, I don't know that I was always always like that. I was probably a punk when I was a when I was younger and on the show. <laughs> um, but I, I you know time away from the business and um, and uh, just a lot of life experiences has uh, tried to keep me humble. Tried to keep me humble. No, uh, not really. I wasn't that bad. <laughs> What was it like guest starring, sorry, Michael J. Fox or Felix uh, asks, uh, what was it like guest starring on Drake and Josh and Ned in 2006? Um, I had a lot of fun with those. Uh, the um, Ned was like a small little part, but I knew some people over at Nickelodeon uh, who kind of brought me in and they said they wanted me to do it. Um, so it was a, a short little week. But uh, we had a lot of fun shooting that, and the Drake and Josh thing was a little bit more, a um, little bit more uh, time intensive. But um, those guys are great. I mean, that was a fun set to work on. I remember everyone welcoming me with open arms, and uh, and uh, those guys are just both really talented guys, and and uh, they're both really funny. So I think. I think and I hope that it turned out good and it's so funny because a lot of people a lot of people talk to me about the Drake and Josh thing because they show it a lot and so um, you know a lot of people come and say hey I saw you in Drake and Josh and uh, that's always fun because it's uh, it's not all that it's something different I hope you guys will uh, cut out and, and, and edit this a little bit so there's not so much time for me waiting for the next question. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so one thing at a time. I would love to see it. Okay. Uh, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Felix writes, if you could play a role on all that uh, another cast member played, what role would it be? Wow, that's, that's a really good question. Um, I I would probably try to pick each like a character from each of the the um uh, of the cast members like if it was Kel I would probably want to like 
do Coach Creighton, although no one could even come close. Like, there's no way I could do Coach Creighton like Cal could do Coach Creighton. Um, Keenan would probably be like, Keenan had so many great ones, like maybe maybe uh, Principal Pimpel, or uh, I would jump in the bathtub and do the French thing, uh, Pierre Escargot, um, Lori, the loud librarian, or maybe do some vital information, because they all just had so many great, uh, great roles. Um, all right, so it says, that, that's awesome, you're still part of a Nick in a way, yes. Um, going back to the Drake and Josh, I guess, question. I would love to see you in a horror movie someday. Are you interested in doing serious horror movies, or would you stick to comedies? And that question's from Jen D'Angelo. Uh, hey, Jen. Um, the answer to that question is, yeah, I would love to do, um, I would love to do serious movies. Um, as much as I love comedy, and that's something that I will always, always want to do, um, I have done uh, some, a lot of serious acting and, like, uh, like my coaching and acting classes and stuff that I've continually work on over the years and I've I feel like that's something I can do and I would love to be able to do all different types of genre so um, comedy segueing into horror I mean sure we could do horror or just or just drama um, but uh, yeah I, I I feel like uh, a comedy is my roots and it's where I always go to as my wheelhouse Okay, this question is for, from Katie. If you could travel to any country in the world, which one would you love to visit? Oh, wow. Um, I love to travel. I've been very lucky. I've gotten to go to some beautiful, beautiful places like uh, New Zealand and Greece and uh, Belize already. Um, so I'm, I'm really uh, I'm stoked that I've gotten to do that. Um, I, still have a, I still have a long list of places that I would want to go. Um, but I would probably say Italy is on the top of that list. Um, and uh, if I was gonna go maybe tropical, maybe Turks and Caicos, that's definitely a place that I wanna go. And uh, Ricky, Greece looks so pretty. Yeah, it, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, ever been. I got to do two and a half weeks in Greece, which was really, really nice. What first got me into acting? And this question and why is from Rachel. Um, okay, uh, I, I would probably say that, uh, you know, my family jokes that I came out of, like, you know, when I was born, like, ta-da! <laughs> so so um, I, guess, I guess I was always kind of a little, a little off. Um, they're like, that young man needs a creative outlet. Before he burns the house down. Um, so I was always a, a little. I was always a little showman. I was always, uh, you know, I always loved being in front of the camera, and you know, I would always kind of ham it up in old family videos and stuff like that. So I think what first got me into acting was like school plays when I was um, when I was that age, you know, in that second, third, fourth grade age. Um, and you know, again, going back to who was always really supportive was my was my family and my mother. And then I, I started acting professionally uh, when we first lived in San Diego. And I would drive up, we would drive up and, and back to LA for auditions. And I got an agent, and she was like uh, she was like my chauffeur and my manager and my number one supporter. So that's uh, that's what got me in professionally to acting. Have you worked, okay, so this question is for Michael. Had, uh, having worked on all that for so long, <clears throat> you obviously became close with your castmates. Who would you say that you had the most fun working with? I'm sorry, this qu uh, question is uh, from Travis by way of Michael. Um, I would say, uh, oh man, I, you know, we had a lot of fun, all of us, and I, I'm sure you guys have heard this in other interviews. Uh, it was like a family, you know. We uh, got along, we argued, we had fun, we laughed. But for the most part, we were all really, really close. Um, I've had a really long-standing friendship with Keenan. He, he's one of the, you know, my best friends in the world, and a, a guy that I still keep in co contact with a ton. Um, 
But, I mean, yeah, I would say, you know, if I had to pick, like, the, we had a little boys club, you know, me, Keenan, and Kel. And uh, I think we would always be trying to push the envelope and, um, and, uh, and make each other laugh. And that's, uh, and we still do, do, do that to the, this day. You know, when I saw Kel at the reunion, he just, he just makes me laugh. These guys are some of the funniest guys in the world. So I would say, uh, I would say I enjoyed them all, but we had a little, we had a little boys club going. And Ricky, yes, she is an amazing mom. Everyone wants to see, okay, so this is from XXC223. Uh, everyone wants to see you and Keenan and Kel in a movie together. That would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? I, we would, I would love to do that. I'd love to do that. So who knows? You know, if you put it out there, enough people want it, you just never know. You never know. This is from Lauren Peterson. Who... Uh, who else besides Keenan do you keep in contact with? Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. I keep in contact with everyone, especially now through like uh, Twitter. It's a lot easier for us to keep in contact with um, each other, especially after the the last reunion. But it's just like anything else. You uh, you know you go a couple years without talking to some people, and then you see them, and it's it's just like uh, it's like old times. And everyone was uh, everyone was uh, looking great, and we had a blast. Um, but I would say that I probably keep in contact with Keenan the most. Okay, this question is from Katie. Katie, when you were in school, what was your least favorite subject? Katie, I haven't been in school in a long time. <laughs> um, and even when I was in school, I wasn't in school. We were working a lot and we were on the set. Um, I would have to say, you know, I've always was, I was always better at uh, like English and reading and stuff like that versus like the math and sciences. Um, so maybe like some high level math classes I didn't really enjoy, but I was a good student. So you kids stay in school, <laughs> do, your, do your homework, <laughs> do your homework. Ew, math. I agree, Ricky. Okay, so this is from Courtney. What is it like now being on shows with kids that were the on all that? And what advice can you give them about keeping the experience positive? Um, I'm sorry. Let me reread the question. What was it like now being on shows with kids that were on all that? Oh, I would say I would just say that um, as far as it being a positive experience, and I've, I think I've said this in other interviews, it's like if you really love what you do, it's never work. And sometimes you have to step away from something to understand how good you've got it and how much you really do love something. Because it's, it's true what they say, when you're doing what you are passionate about, you never work a day in your life. So I would just say always be grateful. What we talked about earlier was being humble and uh, and and just having fun, and I think you know if if they're that and doing that and being as talented as they are, they're going to go far and have a great career, you know. Ha ha! Yeah, I'm an English person. I hate math. Okay. Boo! Math sucks. All right. Being from uh being from an, around Atlantic City, I love that you're a huge Boardwalk Empire fan. Could anyone? Uh, on the show or even create your own character why would it uh, who would it be and why um, yeah that was a uh, people kept asking me what my favorite show is and that was just the show that I was so into um, and you know it's you know Terrence Winter and Marty Sorsese and all these amazing people so you there's no reason why it wouldn't be as good as it is um, if I could be anyone on that show I mean uh, let's see Nucky's a great character, but I would probably be uh, I'd probably be Jimmy. Jimmy's a Jimmy's a cool character, except uh, you know he had a he, he met his tragic end at the end of last season, so I guess that wouldn't work anymore. I hope I didn't ruin it. If if anyone has it, you know, on DVDs or whatever, and they haven't finished it, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I didn't want to blow it. 
All right, Ricky, what skits are you most excited about to show your future kids? Wow. I don't know. Um, you know, I would want them to see a lot of the sketches so they wouldn't just get one, uh, one view. I might be scared to show them the Tandy character a little bit. Look Look what daddy used to do. And these are, again, future kids because I'm not married and I don't have kids yet. Um, but... Uh, I uh, let's see maybe detective Dan you know I like I think detective Dan you know kids will like that because he was he was really not that good of a detective was Tandy on some kind of medication no silly why do you ask <laughs> all right yay got some Tandy out of the U stream <laughs> are you guys having fun are you guys having fun? That's all I ask. All right. All right. Let's do a couple more questions and then we'll wrap it up. But this is uh, this is really cool. I'm glad we got to do this. We are wait. We were waiting for that. Okay. Good. You were waiting for the Tandy laugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, good practice. Good, uh, Ricky said this is good practice for future shows. Absolutely. And again, who better than the uh, Josh Server fan club to do this with? Because you guys rock. You guys put so much time and energy into it. And I really appreciate it. Tandy's your fave, Katie? Good, good. Yeah, speaking of that, don't you guys have jobs or school? I mean, it seems like a lot of work to to run that website. I don't want you guys, <laughs> I don't want you guys to spend too much time on on little old me. Oh, it's your pleasure. Well, thank you. Pleasure's mine. I get to check it out. It's cool. Who needs work or school from Ricky? Yes, LOL. You know that stuff will kill you. Don't do too much of that work stuff. You could you could drop dead, Ricky. <laughs> what was it? Okay, so this question is from Michael, or I think this is from you, Michael. Uh, what was it like shooting Good Burger in your hometown of West Covina? I can see. I can see Mr. Wheatcrass just from down from the street where, where we used to live. Okay, that's uh, that's funny. Yeah, we did shoot that uh, in West Covina. Um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, and again, I've sometimes the questions uh, other people ask me in interviews. I, I've asked this. I've answered this before. Um, I was maybe 18 or 19 when we did Good Burger, and I was on the set of my very first uh, movie. So you gotta assume that we we all thought that was pretty pretty cool, um, but I do remember West Covina being really hot at that time when we shot. I don't know if we shot like maybe close to the summertime, so it, it was a it was a scorcher. Okay, um, Ricky. Okay, I remember. When someone is. Can you cook? If so, is there a favorite dish you like to prepare? You know, I, I would love to tell you that I'm a good cook. Uh, I am i don't cook that much. Um, but if I was going to pick one meal that I could do and get through that would be edible, it would be breakfast. I'm a good breakfast guy. Um, the males in my family always cook breakfast. So I can hook up some. So it's the most important meal of the day. you got to start with a healthy breakfast. Uh, what kind of qualities do you look for in a woman when dating? Um, I, you know, you have to be uh, you have to be kind and good natured, and have to have a good sense of humor. Um, I am dating someone right now, and my girlfriend is all of those things. And uh, uh, obviously, you know, you ha I, I think you have to be beautiful on the inside and out because you know, there's a lot of 
great looking people out there, but there's not a lot of great looking people who are also um, good people on the inside. And so, you know, as far as qualities, uh, I think that, but being able to be uh, silly and uh, just kind of dork out and not take yourself too seriously, I think that's really, really important. Um, and then clearly I need someone who can cook. Clearly, because I can't cook. <laughs> so. Anyone who will put up with me. How about that? We are. Thank you, Ricky. We're, we're very, very happy. I finally, finally found a good one. Um, Katie, what season of all that was your favorite? Um... I don't know. I think that was hard to, it's a hard question to answer, but I definitely think, uh, you know, I feel like the later seasons I felt more comfortable. I, I came into my own a little bit as a uh, performer, so I think I enjoyed those, but I definitely still liked when everyone was still there. You know, I, the later seasons, some of my older castmates had gone. Um, not that I didn't enjoy working with all the new ones, you know. Um, uh, Leon and Mark and Nick Cannon and Amanda, those were, they were all, all great um, and still are to this day. But I definitely think that, um, you know, maybe three or four where everyone was still together was a, was a, uh, was a, uh, a good time. XX223, this may sound silly, but you have perfect teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even have braces. Look how lucky I got. I did. No braces. I didn't even wear the retainer I was supposed to wear. Right? My poor sister had to have the braces. Her, her teeth looked like they were in a fight when she was a kid. <laughs> so they're, they're lovely now, but I got lucky. I got my mom's teeth. If you could be on any current show, what show would that be? Um, you know, I think, I think, uh, I don't know. That's a hard question to answer too. Um, there's so many that I enjoy. Um, obviously being able to be on like a, you know, like a sketch show, um, would be something I would feel very comfortable with, uh, you know, like a Siren Night Live or maybe one of the really great, um, like, you know, sitcoms that are out there right now. Uh, maybe the you know two and a half men type thing. That's uh, um, the one that I'm thinking of. Oh, <laughs> having a brain thing. Um, and then you know again maybe like dramatic shows like something on HBO like a Boardwalk Empire where I could really show some different ac acting chops. Um, you Keenan and Kel need to join Keenan on SNL for one night. A lot of fans want it. From your lips to God's ears. So, um, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. It'd be a lot of fun. Somebody send, somebody send a letter. Somebody write your congressman. Somebody send Lauren Michaels a letter. <laughs> Get on that, Ricky. Okay, guys, do you have any other questions? I could talk to the JS, JSF all night. You guys are a lot of fun. We don't want to bore people though. Let's uh Thank you for being so nice. Well, again guys, uh it was my pleasure. <clears throat> I hope this gives you some stuff to work with and put on your uh on the website and uh I really enjoyed being here and thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do. Um for me and for any other people uh, trying to connect with me on Facebook, um, I really, 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 really appreciate all your hard work. And uh, like I said, go to work, go to school, stop, stop working on the JSF. That's just crazy. Okay, guys. I'm going to sign off now, but again, thank you for everything, and uh, I'm sure we'll, we can maybe do this again in the future. Okay. Mwah.